get the patient to push their hand out of the way off the wound and then recreate that pressure back on with the dressing over the wound itself. From here, you get the patient to lift up their opposite arm and place their hand on the head. And then you're wrapping the bandage around under the armpit, ensuring to get it nice and tight within the armpit itself. From here, getting them to lift their hand off the pressure bandage whilst you bring it around and reapply it back on top, which can help assist in maintaining the pressure bandage in place. From there, feeding it through the pressure applicator, you wanna then return it back over in the opposite direction and then start wrapping it around the neck and armpit. From here, you are just continuing to wrap the bandage around applying a firm or moderate amount of pressure, ensuring not to apply too much pressure to make sure that you don't cut off their airway. Constantly talking to the patient and making sure that they remain conscious throughout the period. Once you reach the end of the bandage, you then want to apply the hook at the end of the bandage to secure the pressure bandage in place. From here, you then ask the patient to lower their left arm and then that should apply firm pressure, but not too much pressure on the neck, ensuring that hemorrhage is attempted to be controlled. 